Mike Contact here with another video. Bought a Walgreens cauldron witch, skeleton witch. And yesterday I was in there and I saw this and I thought, this is great. My wife liked it. And then she knows me way too well. She said, how come uh, they didn't light up the eyes on the witch? I said, well, probably for cost reasons for one. But so I said, I can take care of that. So yeah, so I said, she knows me too well. So I did. So I applied a little red paint to the uh, eye cavities and drilled the holes and this skull is hollow. Went straight through and these are three millimeter LEDs and I put the uh, three millimeter flicker LEDs in there. And then came right just when I drilled through, just came right on straight through back to the back side of the skull, right out the back, just kind of took a, a hair dryer and uh, lightly heated it back here along the band back here and then that softened the glue and then that uh, that's one of my tricks that I do to soften that the glue on something like that and you're not trying to rip that because that, that stuff is pretty strong so I did that and uh, it uh, worked out fine went straight through ran the little wires down back and then came all the way down the her uh, her uh, dress here all the way down and exited right here and then wire tied the connection there so that way it's not flipping or flopping around in there she pivots i'll put it together here she pivots right here and then the wire this is my wire here it comes up and i just parallel off one of the uh, green leds there's a green one here green one here and two connections and so they had the polarity correct i check it anyway but the positive was red and the black was negative of course so I ran my wire up there. This is kind of a unique little uh, circuit here. I mean, this isn't, but I mean, this is a pulley and a poly belt and a pulley and a, a, another pulley off the motor. But it runs one direction and then reverses. So the controller board is right here. And I can see, uh, let's see if I can, let's see if I can throw some light down in there. See if we can't see. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of chips there. It looks like, and you know you probably got the usual uh, usual components. Yeah, there's a couple of chips. Probably has a MOSFET to drive that motor, and then probably I don't know it uh, if it has a uh, that thing. Apparently, it reverses the motor so. I'd say maybe like an H bridge or something in there that uh, that's reversing the polarity, because indeed it does reverse. If I kick this up real quick, uh, watch this uh, square shaft right here. Right now it's turning clockwise. Now it's turning counterclockwise. So you know, and the gearbox isn't doing that. The motor actually gets reversed. The, the spindle, of the motor actually gets reversed here. So yeah, I would say there's like an H bridge on this uh, on this circuit. <laughs> this was uh, twenty dollars at Walgreens. Um, has a little spinning cauldron. This spins around at the top, and I'm getting ready to put it all back together again after doing the eyes. But I uh, put those in, ran like I said, bent the wires down, and then put just a little spot of hot glue behind the skull there just to hold these in place. And then uh, I'll put it all back together, and it'll be good as new. And then. Uh, the wife will be happy because I put LEDs in the eyeballs. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and we'll be talking to you later. One minute later. Well, that was quick. I'm back already. I'll just show you now how it works. I've got it all put back together. Uh, you can get an idea of what it does here. So I'll hit the uh, little button on the front. It'll run a routine and then it'll stop. But that's what it does. So. The cauldron uh, lights up green. There's, like I said, two green LEDs underneath there. And then I put the uh, the two yellow LEDs inside the, uh, the skull there. And they're flicker. So each one has its own pattern as it's lit. It runs, you know, independently from the other one. So that's what she does. She stirs it back and forth, back and forth. And then has the routine. Then she'll power off. And then everything powers off. And then you can see that made the uh, eye sockets there around the eyes red that way it kind of sets that skull off a little bit 
I thought it was a pretty neat little prop actually. And then uh, it intrigued me on what, how, what made it reverse. I wasn't sure at the time if it was the uh, gearbox or, or the actual motor was getting reversed, but it, it is the actual motor. So anyway, this is kind of the other half of my workbench. The other half of the mess. I know whatever wire is, I know wherever wire is going, so it's not a mess to me. In my head, I have it all straight. <laughs> but to you guys, it looks like a mess. But that's uh, that's how we roll here. And then everything gets kind of proofed here, and then it moves to a, a prop later on down the line. Okay, well, I'll sign off for now. Thanks again, guys, for watching all my videos. We will talk to you later.